Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I'm Krista David and I love notebooks. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my beloved Traveler's notebook collection. I love TNs and TNs love me, honey. So I'm just gonna show you um, what I have in my collection and chat a little bit about how I collect them and what's coming soon in a mailbox near me. And yeah, I just love these notebooks so much. If I could only have one cover or one style of notebook in the world, it would be a TN. Now, currently I am journaling in, I am currently journaling in a MD notebook. This was something new that I started last year and I have one more notebook to go and then I can go back to my beloved traveler's notebook, which I have been using since 2016 and journaling in the inserts that come for the standard size, this tall size here. So I'm itching to get back into my TNs real fast. So fast that I like to, I have this weird thing about me, I like to complete things. So I do have this notebook and I'm like trying to think of other things I can use this notebook for just so I can go ahead and get back to my traveler's notebooks. But yeah, I feel like I made a commitment. I bought four of these. I'm using three of them to journal and one of them I put in this cover, clear cover. And this is for a book that I'm, like an important set of activities that I'm gonna be doing based on this sort of self-help book. So yeah, I like to complete stuff. So I wanna finish journaling in this, which I think I should be able to get through in a month or two, definitely by summer. And then I'm back in my traveler's notebooks because this just feels so good. This is a good size for journaling and it just feels so good. So anyway, let's get to the collection. Now traveler's notebooks are simply notebooks that are constructed from a single piece of leather they have a string down the spine so that you can loop in notebooks inside of the leather. And then they have a piece of string here so that you can cover it all up and take it on the go. Now you can tighten this string. I just, mine is loose for some reason. But this is it. This is a traveler's notebook. Many different companies make them. Traveler's Company, which is my favorite, they are the OGs. So this is their standard, um, they make TNs, they make them in two sizes, a pocket and a standard size. And they come in five colors, brown, camel, navy, black, and olive green. I want to have the full set of each size at some point. This is all I have from the Travers Company. This was my very first one that I got in 2016, burnt it because I was writing by candlelight. Yes, I was romanticizing my life for a long time now. <laughs> burnt this, but this has been all over the world with me. This is the brown and it, it just feels so good. I think I love these notebooks so much because you don't have to be precious with them. Oh, I just love them. They're gonna last forever. This is not a throwaway thing, right? And they're really affordable. This company is really affordable. So I really, you can get this for $50 or something, maybe $70. Don't let me lie to you. Go to the Traveler's Company website, but they are affordable, the most affordable, I think. Sure, you can probably find some cheaper ones from um, Michael's or Amazon, but this is, if you're going to start with a traveler's notebook and you're looking at the prices, I would go straight to Traveler's Company and just start with these. So this is the brown one. That was the first one I got. Then I got this one back in 2019. I thought it was a camel, 
but I bought it from Amazon, which I will never do again. I'm going to get my notebooks from the Traveler's Company or Jet Pins or Bomb Kuhin. Those are the only places, three places I will buy Traveler's Notebooks. Um, got this on Amazon from a seller. I thought it was camel. It clearly looks brown, but it's not all the way brown because it's supposed to be darker. I saw on YouTube that this same issue happened with someone else who ordered a camel and ended up with something that looks like a brown. Anyway, I'm going to keep it and just consider it a unicorn. At some point, though, I will double back and order a brown from the Traveler's Company to go with my actual brown. It's not going to be a perfect match, but it shouldn't be off like this. So, this is a passport size, and it is a tiny, tiny. I don't have the specs for these, but it literally fits your passport. <laughs> That's what it's for. Um, when I travel, I will set this up with like a little uh, folder for holding receipts. I'll just put my passport in here and um, yeah, I keep it. I travel with this. So I have this brown, I have this camel brown one and then I have the standard TN brown. These are my babies. These are new purchases. Several years ago, Traveler's Company had a limited edition run of olive green. I saw it two years after the limited edition run and I tried to track these down. I was gonna buy one from somebody on eBay and I was gonna pay like $200, $300, like ridiculous, like three and a half, four times the price. But I wanted it so bad because I had fallen in love with green. I'm glad I waited because they brought this back and now it's a mainstay. And I bought this in, I want to say in December. And I got them from Bam Kuhin. And um, I, I went ahead and just bought the standard and the passport. And these, they, they when you get them, they kind of feel like there's no softness, suppleness to them. I haven't rolled them or squished them or anything like that. But they will mold to your hand and they get so soft and pliable with use and conditioning. So I use this balm on, on these. So I can't wait to start using these. Um, when I start journaling again, I'm going straight for this. So these are my Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebooks, and these are the Traveler's Company brand. You can see that's the name that's on all of mine. And then I will probably, not this year, maybe next year, I'll get another color. I think the next color for me will be the camel one. But who knows, it may be the black one. I think, I'm not really sold on the navy, but I will eventually get the navy. But I think the next one will either be the black one or the camel. Um, it's probably going to be black. And then what I love is that Bam Kuhin, they will customize and add patches and all sorts of things to and rivets all to your um, uh, traveler's notebook. If you want, you can send them in an, a one that you already have. You mail it to them, you tell them what things you want. You might want to get stitching, you may want to add a pocket, you may want to add a patch. But when I get my next one, which will probably be the black one, I am going to customize that. I do like the plain look. I don't, I just like simplicity. But I do want to have at least one TN from the Traveler's Company that I customize. I do have plans on going to Japan um, in the next couple years. So that could also be a place where I get something customized because you can get like things, patches and stuff put on your TNs while you're in um, Japan. So this is what I have for my, oh, look at that. That looks so cute. Oh, I love it. So yummy. So I have three more to go in the standard size, three more to go in the pocket, in the passport size, and then my collection will be complete. But I'm not in a rush. I'm okay with buying one every couple years and just loving on it. And if I had to simplify my entire cover collection, 
I would get rid of everything and just keep these. These are my my favorites, like hands down. I don't need anything else except these. But we have other stuff. So Traveler's Company is the OG, but they're not the only um, folks in town. We have other people who make Traveler's Notebooks. You can find, you can go on Etsy and just type in Traveler's Notebook and you'll find all sorts of companies. I bought this one. I think this was the next one after these um, from a, a company called Simpson Leather. It's really thick compared to how thin this one is. This is a little thicker. Let's see, and that makes a difference. Now I do like this. This is very squishy and rubbery and it feels good. I love it and I'm glad I bought it, but you do want to pay attention to that. And, um, but you can go on Etsy and you can find a company and just type in your TN. And a lot of these leather makers will customize. So if you have a special size that you want, you can work with them to customize it. You can add pockets in different places, stitching um, that matches the leather or coordinates with another color that you have going on. So you just type in Traveler's Notebooks and you can find them everywhere, really, okay? I did mine in green. Oh, I love it, it's so good. So that's that. Another company that I use and I do recommend is Chic Sparrow. After I got my Traveler's Company TN, the next one that I got, and I got this one I think in 2016 or 2017, this is a Chic Sparrow, but this size is something called a B6 size. So you can see it's wider and shorter, like squat but it's a B6 size and I love it. I got this specifically for business and I got it specifically to, to go with these Stology books that I use um, and will continue to use until all the pages are gone. <laughs> but I do love this. This is the Mr. Darcy leather. I don't think they you make um, this anymore or they don't have it they don't call it Mr. Darcy anymore. I think they call it Austin, but um, it's so floppy and like wonderful. And it has this wonderful patina and it's just so good. And I've made some boo-boos, but you know, this is leather. This is, it is what it is. We love it. But I do like Chic Sparrow. This is one where I got stitching. I got pockets on the inside and these, this is where the prices go up. I want to say this was like $150, probably more. When you start to add pockets and stitching and pin loops and secretarial pockets, that's when the price just kind of goes. Some of these notebooks are like out of this world. Um, but the quality of Chic's Burial is wonderful. I mean, it's impeccable. So I would recommend that. So this is my B6. I will have this forever. I love it. I love this size notebook, not for journaling. It just doesn't feel right. So if I'm gonna journal in something that's more squarish, it has to be bigger, like A5. B6 doesn't feel good. B6 is good for business. That's just what I've learned. I can do all sorts of planning and brainstorming and note taking and like it just works well for that for me so that's my b6 size it's a chunky monkey it's heavy it has two stology notebooks in here that i've jiggered also from chic sparrow i got now i bought this brand new and it was stressful because you have to wait for the announcement this is years ago wait for the announcement you know, keep tabs on the time, get on the website, get the stuff in your cart, buy it because the stuff was going fast. It was bananas, stressful, but worth it. But I bought this new, but then I found out that Chic Sparrow has a Facebook group that's a buy, sell, trade group. And these are folks who have lots of covers or covers that they're willing to sell to you that are pre-loved or used. Now I will say, that people who collect these covers, they they are precious with them. If they're gonna resell them or they think they might resell them, they're gonna keep them in good condition in a dust bag and everything. So I found um, 
a couple pre-loved ones, okay? First, this one wasn't pre-loved. This one was actually, I bought this brand new and you can see I have stitching on it and it's just, it's, all the leathers are different. This one is like a shiny um, leather. Um, it's not gonna absorb oils from your skin because it's very, um, it's very thick. This one will absorb oils from your skin. It's really thin, soft, supple. But I like this. I love all the lightning strikes of this. So I bought this one new. But then I discovered that they had this buy, sell, trade group. So I said, let me check that out for any future purchases. And that's what I did. So I got this. This is an A6 size um, Chic Sparrow. All I did was ask for stitching just to kind of give it a little bit more structure. No pockets or anything. I put my gratitude journal in here and it works fine. I will be buying a new A6 for 2025 because this, um, this is a five year gratitude journal. I've been holding on in this cover for five years. I want to try something else in my hands. So I will be buying a, a, a folio cover folio so that I can slide these inside of pockets on both sides for my next five year gratitude journal which starts in 2025. So I will be looking for a pre-loved folio A6 size by Chic Sparrow um, for going forward. And then that way I can like volley back and forth between this cover and then the, the new one that I'm going to get, the new old one that I'm going to get. And yeah, I just love looking at it. It's been a pleasure. So that's Chic Sparrow. Um, then I found this in the Buy, Sell, Trade group. It's gorgeous. It was practically new. There was not a spot on it. It came in a dust bag. And I was like, when you buy um, pre-loved, you can get them anywhere from 25 to 50, 60% off. People just want to unload stuff and they just have too much and they're ready to let go so they can buy other things. So I will be always looking for pre-loved Chic Sparrow notebooks before I buy a new one. Just because folks who buy them, they keep them in good condition. So this is a A5 and I have my devotional um, journal in here. And it's just beautiful. It's not the same color as... The A6, this one is a redder, this one is a darker brown. Same leather, but the options were different for like red or dark brown. I love, I love them both. I especially love this darker brown one. So that's my Chic Sparrow, Chic Sparrow, Chic Sparrow. And I have a couple more Chic Sparrows that were used. I bought this one on a whim in the Buy, Sell, Trade group. I wasn't sold, but it was green and I wanted to see what this leather looked like. I took the string out for some reason. It's here somewhere. I love, this was me experimenting with pocket size. I knew I liked passport size, but I was like, I want to try pocket size. I feel like pocket is going to be transformative. It's, it's just the perfect, so you see how it's slightly taller. It just seems perfect for me. I have small hands, I love cute little things. And I said, okay, I'm gonna start buying more pocket covers because I love this size. And I do, even though I love my Hobonichi Weeks as a weekly planner, I I think going into 2025, I wanna have a setup where I have my Hobonichi Weeks as a planner and then I have a pocket set that's just my notebooks and this is all i need this is it this is it for me so i'm really on this pocket notebook cover size i got this from the buy sell trade group it was really inexpensive this one was a little more beat up actually it wasn't it was in great shape it was in great shape this is me i, I did all this and it came with a pin loop and it has these pockets i don't love these pockets i think I think they're a little, I think I have to loosen the string, um, but I didn't love these pockets. I think this one is good, but I didn't like this one. But yeah, so that's a good thing about the buy, sell, trade. You can experiment and see what you like, 
without having to drop a whole lot of money. So I got this one, Chic Sparrow, pre-loved. Then I got this one. I forgot I had this. I just found this in my drawer. It wasn't in this place where all the other notebooks were. And I kid you not, I just ordered a notebook very similar to this, different company. I got it brand new. It will be here shortly. And I, when I saw this in the drawer, I was like, Krista, girl, what are you doing? But these notebooks are forever. It's not the exact same color. It's in the color family. It's more of a, it's brown, but it's more of a warm brown and not like a reddish brown. Um, it's more of a warm chocolate brown and not like a reddish brown. At least I don't think so. We'll see. But I was like, man, maybe I should cancel my order. But I do want to try out this new company. It's called Eternal Leather Goods. And the difference is it has a pin loop, but it has a clasp. So I said, okay, I'm not going to cancel my order because this will be me experimenting with a traveler's notebook that has a clasp. All of these notebooks don't have any like button. So I'm, I'm excited to get that one. But this I got, it's from Chic Sparrow, got it in the buy, sell, trade group. Um, really affordable. I'm probably about to go look in that group right now. Anyway, I'm not going to buy anything. <laughs> I love it and I'm gonna play around with this I have a mole scheme coming tomorrow that is a chunky one and I'm gonna play around with um, a new cover a new cover I just ordered and let's see how this looks in here oh gosh I love pocket size I think I'm a pocket girl yes now I do like a little chunky, so that's why I like having two notebooks. And you can do two, you can do different things. This is a little um, passport. This goes with these, actually they come. When you buy one of these um, traveler's notebooks from the traveler's company, they send you a little notebook insert. So the way it works is you just take the notebook, you find the middle, and then you put it on a string like this. This is why I love it. It's so simple and satisfying. Now you tighten these strings based on what you got going on. You can just untie these and just tighten them to get them right. But, and you can fill up these notebooks. You can fill up these things with notebooks. So I like a little more chunk. So that's why I love my Moleskine pocket notebooks and being able to put two at one time is what I'm looking forward to. Oh gosh, I love this so much. Ugh. It's like, it's like my favorite thing. Ah! It's so cute. Okay, so you gotta be careful with the chunk, but this is the kind of chunk that I like. I like this. And then you take this and you wrap that thing in there and you're like, this is substantial. I love it. Where's my pen? Where is my pen? Oh my gosh. Where are the pens? Let's just put a pen in here. I don't know. Some of these pen loops. Oh, oh, yes. Oh my God. I love it so much. Anyway, I'm happy I have this. I'm happy I found it. I am obsessed with pocket tins and I will be collecting more because I can see myself switching them out every season just for funsies. So you 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 like what you like, I like what I like and I am in love with the pocket size. So that feels wonderful. Actually, I'm going to leave it right in this one. See, that's why I love having different color covers. I was working around with this cuz I was like, "Oh, this looks good with this." But this looks good. That looks good to me. So this is my little traveler's notebook collection. In another video, I will take you through all of the accessories that I use in these notebooks, like all the different types of notebooks, clips, pens, and things that some are specific to certain traveler's notebooks, but some are made by other companies for traveler's notebooks. 
and I'll show you the different notebooks that I buy from other people who make notebooks for these travelers notebooks and I'll show you the notebooks that I make because I make my own notebooks because it's easy economical um, and I love it but these are my tra these are my ladies <laughs> And I love them. These are my ladies. And it brings me so much joy to be able to, to have collections of things that are useful and made by hand and that will last forever. So that's all I have to say about Traveler's Notebooks. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Get you some. Bye. <laughs>